Hi, I'm going to do a little demonstration for you on how to set up the Neopuff mechanical ventilator on for a neonatal patient. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a blender today because I want to be able to adjust the FO2 to being delivered to the patient. So the Neopuff has uh, no ability to adjust the FO2 itself. Now the first thing we need to do is put on the circuit. All right. The circuit's very straightforward. It comes in two parts. All right. We have the inspiratory line, which will be your uh, from your gas source to the Neopuff, and then we have your patient circuit. So, let's start off with our inspiratory line. First thing we're going to do is, because we're going to hook this up to a blender, got my blender hooked up to uh, oxygen and air, so I've got my blended source of gas here. I'm going to start my resuscitation on 21%. We hook this up to our flow meter and to the gas inspiratory line right here, and it tells you exactly right on here which flows to use between 5 and 15. We're going to use 15 liters per minute. I'm going to go use a little on the higher end. Okay, now, next thing I've got is my patient circuit here, and that goes to our gas outlet, which is right to our patient. All right, so it's got this little kind of spring valve on the end here like this. All right, so we'll set that off to the side here. Now I've got to do a pressure test on the Neopuff to make sure it's ready for working. So come on in here a little closer, and I'll show you how to do that. All right. So first thing I want to do is I want to set both of my valves all the way in so I can do my little pressure test. So I'm going to turn them clockwise all the way in. It's got little arrows here to show you which way to turn them. So they're both sealed. And now when I hold my, my uh, little the exhalation valve here with my finger, against my hand, it pressurizes the circuit to over 7 centimeters of water pressure. All right? Now that's a good number because that shows me that I've got no leaks and even if there was a little leak it can compensate for them. So the next thing I want to do is set my maximal pressure relief. So I just set, turn that counterclockwise and I'm going to set that at a pressure at about 30 centimeters of water pressure. We shouldn't have to use any more than that to ventilate our neonatal patient. The next thing I'm going to control is my inspiratory pressure control. And for our purposes today, I'm going to start off and I'm going to set that at 20. So that's the pressure control level or the maximum pressure that should be delivered to my patient during resuscitation. All right. Now the next valve I can set is my peep valve. And that's with this little rotating adjustment right here. All right. By plugging this and adjusting this knob, when I turn it inward like that, you'll notice the peep level goes up. All right. And when I turn it outwards like this, the peep level goes down. So this gives me very precise control of my peep level, and today I'm going to set that at 4. All right. So when, I use my, when I'm using it, I'm going to plug this valve, and I'm going to cycle the ventilator from pressures of 20 over 4, 20 on 4. All right. So let's see how that's going to work with resuscitation of my neonatal patient. So we've got our patient right here. I've got the Neopuff all set up. I've got a a mask that I've selected. All right. So we're just going to fit that over gently over my patient, get a good seal, get them in a nice sniffing position, using my fingers to hold that, and then I can just so ventilate my patient on 20 over 4. You can maybe just see the chest rising gently, and you can see the ventilator in the background cycling over 20 on 4. Now it's important that you actually watch the chest rise. Now I've selected 20 on 4, but it's very important that you realize you may not need 20 on 4 to ventilate your patient effectively. Maybe we could get away with a little bit less pressure. Okay, maybe we need a little bit more than that. So right now, I'm getting a little bit of chest rise with 18 on 4. Now the other case is also possible where you actually need a little bit more inspiratory pressure. All right. So it's important that when you're using the Neopuff, you not be cemented into the idea that you have to use 20 on 4 or whatever pre-numbers you've set. That you have control over the inspiratory pressure and the peep level right at your fingertips. So it needs to be set up close for your use. All right? And in fact, for our mannequin right here, I'm finding that if I'm using oh, about 20, maybe a little bit less, I'm getting pretty good chest rise. All right? And we're going to ventilate at a rate of between about 60 breaths per minute during resuscitation. All right, so that's about one a second. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Another thing that's important to consider 
is that you can have control of the I to E ratio with this valve. You can have a little bit longer, like a 1 to 1 I-E ratio. That's about as much as I would go. There is a danger of going inverse I-E ratios and creating a little bit of air trapping, but that's something you as a clinician will have to decide. So that's just a really quick demonstration on how to set up the Neopuff ventilator. Thank you very much.